What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve and today we're going to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 2 Episode 18, Captain Peralta. This sounds like it's going to be an interesting one. I know he's not going to become captain, but is he going to crown himself captain of something? We'll find out. Last week was the Boyle and Eddie wedding. I think that might have been one of the funniest episodes of the series so far. It might be number one. I don't know yet, but it was really, really hilarious. Before I get into this week's episode, if you want to see my full uncut reaction to this video and all my other videos, please check me out at Patreon. It'll help me out a lot. All right, Captain Peralta, starting now. Jake, you gotta see this. There's something going on here. What's something going on? <laughs> oh my god! Terry, do you notice anything? Uh, they're not gonna go along with it. It's horrible. It looks like you unclogged a shower drain with your mouth. <laughs> Are you talking about your new goatee? Mm -hmm. I think it's a good choice for your face. Come over here so I can take a better look. Oh no. Jeffers Peralta, now. Whoa, oh, they're gonna they shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to get excited and weird. You I can't. can't promise anything <laughs> My dad's coming into town, and we're going out to dinner tonight. Damn, we're going to see Peralta's dad? visited you in six years. Regional airline. Oh, uh, Captain Peralta. We're back to Albany. What is going on here? What's your problem? Check it out. We've been texting. New phone. Who dis? No, below that. Oh. See, he's coming into town just to see me. Uh, Jake is going to be disappointed. If I get chilly, he could loan me his coat. I'm describing a date. I don't know what fathers and sons do. Oh, God. My old CEO, Jim Martins, used to keep us on our toes by having us solve brain teasers. Mm. I love puzzles. They're like power squats for your mind. Good. Mm. Here's the problem. You must figure out which. And what do these men look like facially and with respect to their bodies? <laughs> oh, God, Gina. That sounds super exciting. Is this thing mandatory? Oh, I hope so. Please say yes. <laughs> no, but there is a prize. Two tickets to the Sunday Beyonce rock music concert. I'm in. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> this is my dad. Hey, introduce yourself to your captain's voice. Uh, folks, this is your pilot speaking, Captain Roger. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, hey, Captain Holt. Come meet my dad, Captain Peralta. Hello, Captain. Captain? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> weird for me. Captain? Captain. Anyways, you guys. I look over at the pilot, Sam Power. Great, Great name. name. He's white as <laughs> And he says to me, I'll never forget what he said. Get on the PA. I say, folks. Coffee's on me. Oh, man. Ooh, you can interrogate one of my perks. Oh, no, he can't. No, you... you do that, Jake. You probably can't tell, but I am flexing my brain like crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, you're both wasting your time. Yeah, what about Rosa, Gina, and me? Is this how you want to die? <laughs> Look, the Sarge and I are really into puzzles. Hundred bucks says Gina and I can solve this thing before you two puzzle dorks. Damn, going teams now. Do you remember what you always did when you take me to dinner as a kid? Tell the waitress it was your birthday so we get a free dessert. <laughs> There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, Last no. I was flying into Albany. How I always keep my snowboard with me in case I get a chance to carve. Oh, God. Customs found some prescription meds in my board bag. They're accusing me of smuggling. What? Yeah, I have no idea how they got it. Uh, he's going to use his son to get him out of trouble. That's why he showed up. The reason I'm here. Cause he needs something. Oh, poor Jake. Sausage birthday to both of you. <laughs> the case of why he came to town. Mm. He solved it because he wanted to take advantage of his son. Bingo. Here's what we know so far. One, Hungarian sausage is an oily mess and it causes non-stop dumps. <laughs> Canadian cops think that my dad used his security clearance to smuggle in over a thousand pills of Turgidol. A thousand pills? He has been a good dad, especially from ages zero through seven and Ugh. yesterday through forever. When I was nine, my parents took me to Paris and they accidentally left me at the Louvre. By the time they figured it out, <laughs> they were already back from Queens. <laughs> 
You use the seesaw to press down on their necks until Fatty confesses. Incorrect. Damn! And disturbing. It's so Rosa. What do you say there, scully old boy? Look at this night mix. It's half cast shoes. I hope we never <laughs> land. <laughs> you cheated on her bunch and she found out. Oh, shit. Charles, I have cheated on women in the past, and Because <laughs> Charles on, is a great cop. The old Commodore Club. We got Jake. Who's flying the plane? <laughs> Co-pilots, Scully. Co-pilots. Whoo! I'm getting snacky. Fine. Let's start over. <laughs> He's gonna eat them. Three, and if they weigh the same, we just. They're in Terry's mouth again. Come on, man! Stop eating the Islanders. These Islanders are delicious. Was it Peralta? Roger Peralta is under arrest for possession of a controlled substance. What? On pills in his apartment. Jake, I don't know. Oh my God! I don't know how those pills got in my apartment. The cop says you have to be held without bail. They want us on the next flight out, and that Bernard's is the best poutine place in the airport. Mmm, I love poutine. Drugs in his luggage, drugs in his apartment. <laughs> terrible dad, terrible husband. She's on his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Drugs everywhere. Dad dropped anchor at the Commodore's Club. Someone Undercover. Even so, how do we get in there? Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Look how big it is on Charles. For some reason, all the fries and gravy and cheese upset my tummy. Ah. <laughs> For some reason. Oh, Scully gets a slow mo. So just tell us the answer. Good luck with that. Have you forgotten where you come from? I'm not going to help you. I told you that was not going to work. We're here and we have the solution. You weigh six versus six. Wrong. That'll never work. Oh. Just wait for your time and mine. Oh. <laughs> no one is more disappointed in me than me. <laughs> than I. Santiago. Oh, <laughs> that's my dad's type. Oh, he likes him neat and clean, neat and tidy. <laughs> what? No, blondes. He likes blondes. <laughs> Real tidy. How do you guys know Peralta? Oh, I used to fly with him back in Oregon. My name is Captain Spike Masters. This is my co-pilot Wanda Cohen. <laughs> Hotel. Wanda Cohen. Where'd you guys say you flew in from? Luxembourg. I demand to speak with the Commodore himself. No way we'll get her fingerprints now. Oh, really? French. She cleaned the bar quite thoroughly, but this bottle is filthy with her prints. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diaz, what's the solution? We have no idea. <laughs> Told you. But neither do you, sir. Ooh. What? You don't know what the solution is. Excuse me? I took the photo of you demolishing Amy's spirit and made these clever t-shirts that say <laughs> Nerd fail. Your expression is the same as Amy's because you're both devastated that you just let down your mentor. She's right. Oh! He posed that problem to me 20 years ago. Damn. Those islanders and their pathetic seesaw <laughs> haunt my dreams. <laughs> mock me in my sleep. Oh, shit. So, who gets the Beyonce tickets? Damn, you see his expression? Guess who just freed his dad from Canadian prison and slammed six free mimosas on the Aww, right home. I was actually wow. hoping his dad was guilty. So, turns out my dad's side piece framed him. She was hella pissed because she found out about his real girlfriend. Interesting. Huh? Where's Scully? They oh, left no. him in who? Paris. Oh no, they weren't in France. They left them in Canada. Hey Hank. My dad just texted. He's not coming. To Jake Dad! No, I mean he did only go there for one thing. I'm sure your dad has really good reason for not being here. No, don't do that. Alright? Don't let him off the hook. Exactly. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the party. I'm subbing for There's a, a woman in there, maybe? You're upset. More relieved. You know, you were always my hero, <sighs> but I think I'm finally starting to see you for who you really are. Look, I've been making excuses for you my whole life. His dad looks really young, too. Crappy father. 
Don't call me. There you so go, Jake. Because it's cool and I want it. <laughs> okay, Jake. I like that. And I'm sorry if we implied you're both asexual nerds who can only be friends with service animals. What? <laughs> yeah. Next round's on me. It's the least I can do for teasing your brains so mercilessly. Yeah, it was a good idea, though. Just say you're a captain <laughs> and you're busy running a priest. One drink, Amy. Suck an egg. Mm. But I'm going with Gina's suck an egg idea. Yeah. You get the Beyonce. Oh! Of course I do. I told you. You better take Rosa. Birthright, you bitches. Come here. Ten minute hug time. I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. Uh, is he going to say ten minutes later? Nice job in Quebec. I bet the local cops weren't happy you showed them up. Is this an allowance? <laughs> no, I'm paying the bartender for more drinks. Oh, right. <laughs> He's good. I'm proud of you. Like a dad should. Nine minutes start now. <laughs> That's nice. Jake really needed that. Oh, God. This show gets better and better and better every episode. This one, though... When it first started, I kind of figured, you know, the dad was going to need something. And by the the end, I was hoping that he was guilty because that's the way uh, shows and episodes like this usually go. But I think the way they ended it was better for Jake. If it would have been like, oh, he, he came here, I helped him and he actually was guilty. The thing would have been my dad's a horrible person, maybe, or... I don't know, you have to arrest your dad. But when you, well, when Jake loves and envies his, his father so much, and you know, he was really, really into him showing up. Not only did he show up for selfish reasons, only because he needed something, but it worked better that his dad was innocent to make Jake kind of love him even more for a minute. And then for him not to show up, it gave Jake that moment to confront his father and tell him exactly how he feels. And I think that worked a lot better than if his dad was actually guilty of pushing those pills because that was an insane amount of pills and when you look back in hindsight if you're a professional or you're doing something like that you're not going to have what seemed like three bags of a thousand pills in each bag like that was overkill so i do do appreciate the way they handled it with jake and again i say this all the time season one jake would not have been able to handle this happening to him he's come so far uh, he's grown so much, and um, it's great that he has Boyle with him, who is his best friend, and usually knows best. Like, even though they play Boyle as kind of a silly dummy sometimes, he is a great friend, he is a great person, and he is a great cop. They don't really show it a lot, but it always ends up that way, so I like that. The brain teaser part was brilliant. I actually wasn't expecting that. I, I really thought that Captain Holt knew the answer, and it was kind of like... Exactly that, a brain test for the 9-9. Nine nine. But Captain Holt doesn't know everything, apparently, so it was really, really sly of him to have everyone think that he knows the answer and have them fight for Beyonce tickets. And why would they not believe him? Like, he's a very smart guy, and he usually knows mostly everything. So it was really cool that um, Rosa and Gina were the ones to figure it out. I think it would have been, I think that's why they split the team up the way they did with Amy and Terry and then Gina and Rosa because Rosa never really cares about anything and Gina typically doesn't care about anything. She just wanted the tickets. Amy is very competitive and, you know, very smart. Obviously she is smart. I use the quotes because like we know she's smart and she wants to win everything. And Terry is extremely smart, silly sometimes, but you put them two together and you automatically are like, okay, this is the way they're going to go. There's no way that Terry and Amy can't get this. So it was really cool that it was Rosa and Gina who figured out that, you know what? Holt actually does not know the answer. He's playing us, man. He thinks he's slick. He doesn't know it. And he's trying to get us to figure out the answer for him. That was, you know, amazing and hilarious to me. And this was a really, a really funny episode. Um, Scully getting left in the airport full circle from when he was a kid. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. But at least, you know, he gets hungry. There's plenty of poutine over there. And who doesn't like poutine? I do. I love it. Funny, simple episode. Jake's father comes to town and kind of felt like something wasn't right when he got there because you don't really hear about him the whole series. 
besides that he left when Jake was seven. How good could a dad like that be if you haven't seen him? And then he texts out of the blue and then he's going to show up and you think it's because he loves you again or he really, really cares about you. But it's established as soon as he gets there, he had a reason. Kudos for Jake and uh, Charles for figuring it out. Really good cops. They, they got him off. I mean, he's an innocent man, even though he's a horrible dad, doesn't mean he deserves to go to jail. Again, you ask for a huge favor from your son and you get three cops from the 9-9 to go with you to clear your name. And then you don't even show up at the party after for drinks. What makes it a little bit worse is I feel like we all might have thought he had a woman in his hotel room at the end and that's why he didn't show up. But there was no one there. He just didn't even want to bother going. He got what he needed. He just wanted to go to bed, wake up and leave uh, his son behind. So that's really, really heartbreaking. Another funny episode with a little bit of, you know, pulling at your heartstrings and Peralta season two and the season two Peralta is a different guy. So he got his moment to shine at the end to tell us that how he really feels. And I really appreciated that. So I really, really enjoyed this episode. What did you all think of this episode? What do you think of my reaction and all of my thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace guys.